Hey everybody, this is Joey, the new Monday queen for the Daily Drag. And I'm going to be making a video every Monday along with the four other girls. And it's going to be Monday through Friday. As I said already, I don't know why I'm like repeating myself. Redundancy. Anyways, so I was going to do this video on drag and I actually did record it in drag. But I fucking lost the cable and I don't know how the fuck to load it with a card because... My computer doesn't take it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't take it. No, um, so it didn't work out the way I wanted, but I'm still going to put this video up because I promised I would, and here we are. <laughs> so, um, I am April May Calendar. That's my drag name. My real name is Joey Leon. You can look me up on Facebook under either name, Joey, J-O-E-Y, space, L-E-O-N, or April May Calendar, April May Calendar. I don't want to spell it out because it's too long, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um... I don't have a Twitter, and I don't have a YouTube, <laughs> so you can only find me on Facebook, but I promise I'll reply to everybody. I'm really nice, for the most part. And yeah, I've been doing drag for one year this month exactly. My first show was a burlesque show, <laughs> and I started doing drag mainly... My story is a little different than other people's, where... I mean, I'm not saying everybody's story was like this, but more queens my age tend to have the similar backstory, you know, they watched RuPaul's Drag Race, they got inspired by, you know, Raven or whatever, and they, they, um, decided to do drag. I mean, no, no shade to anybody, I, I get it, you know what I mean? RuPaul's Drag Race did open the door for a lot, of, for drag to become a lot more mainstream and accepted with the basic community, where before people tended to kind of shy away from drag queens, and it was kind of just, like, kind of off-putting to people, but... I, on the other hand, had never seen RuPaul's Drag Race. I had never seen an episode. I didn't know what the hell it was when I agreed to do drag. I started to do drag because I wanted to perform. For years, I had been doing, um, I had been singing. And I just wanted, like, a, a venue to perform. And knowing that I am, you know, I'm different, I'm special, God's gift to mankind, if you will. I knew that I had to find a venue that would be a lot more accepting to my to my demographic, if you will. So I agreed to do drag when a friend of mine, who is kind of like my drag older sister, her name is Faffy Monet, you can look her up on Facebook too, Faffy, F-A-F-F-Y, space, M-O-N-A-Y, Faffy Monet. So she invited me to be in a drag show, and I said, well, of course, I'm gonna do it, like, obviously. So, yeah, I joined the show with her. And I originally, when I first did drag, I was, I guess you could say, I just pretty much looked like a tranny. I didn't know about drag makeup because, again, I had nothing to go by. I had never really seen drag queens before. So I was very fishy. And at first I was kind of, I was kind of resistant to the whole thing. I was like, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be like those drag queens. Because the way I looked at it is I didn't even want to be a drag queen. I just wanted an excuse to sing live and to perform and to kind of get my name out there. My original plan was just to kind of do drag and then eventually kind of drop from the radar in the drag world, I guess, and just start performing as myself. But I kind of got into it and I got curious about RuPaul's Drag Race. I started watching the episodes and I got really inspired because I had never seen anything like that before. I kind of had always seen, seen performing as pretty much what you saw in music awards and that to me that was my idea of of what performing should be like but once you get exposed to drag queens and you see how artistic it really is and they make everything themselves and i thought that was so cool so i kind of wanted to invest myself more in it and now i'm not saying i'm there yet i'm i'm completely new i've only been doing this a year but i have been improving and i'm slowly kind of progressing into that kind of more performance art type of drag rather than just you know stand up there and dance and I'm not a dancer, by the way, so to me, <laughs> I do what I can. Most of the time it looks like I'm having a seizure. But, you know, God bless me and try. Anyways, and, um, yeah, like, that's pretty much why I've been, why I've been doing drag. And, um, I know, I, I really just did want to sing. I still do. I still really sing live. And it is kind of slowly happening for me now in town. You know, I, so, I just got booked for my first show tonight. For, um, you know, as myself, as Joey. And that's cool, but I kind of like the duality of it. I get to do songs that I normally wouldn't do as myself as April. So, I'm very appreciative to Faffy for opening 
me to this world or opening this world to me. You know, I look, I do look up to her a lot and she is, um, you know, she's the reason I'm doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I was supposed to talk about. I don't know. I'm new to this. So yeah, if you like what I had to say, if you found me annoying, I promise to improve. Leave comments below. Subscribe. The Daily Gay. Or The Daily Drag. <laughs> the Daily Drag. <laughs> the Daily Drag. And um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the, to the channel and add Nick, Shane, Walter, and there's another one I can't remember. I just met them. No disrespect, no shade. They're all fabulous and you have to subscribe to all of them. They're going to provide you with their links. And yeah, so have like... I hope you guys enjoyed the channel. I hope you didn't find me really annoying. <laughs> okay, bye.